guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at the best feelings ever. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. When the thing you didn't want to go to gets cancelled. Oh, that is the best feeling for me. Like, as an introvert, this is always the best feeling. If anything gets cancelled, hell yeah. I mean, I just love staying at home so much. Hell yeah. Getting in bed after a very long, exhausting day. The sheets seem to cuddle and caress you like a lover. True, and you just fall asleep straight away. Oh, that's the best feeling. And then you wake up and you feel refreshed. Oof. You know, some, some little things in life are just great. That feeling you get sometime between 5 o'clock and uh, 9 o'clock on a Friday evening when you realize you don't have to work in the morning. Man, I struggle reading these times. Like, <laughs> like you're minus 12 or something. I know, but like it's still hard for me to read it. I always struggle reading times like these. But yeah, so true. That was like me in school and you realize it's a Friday and at 5 p.m. you're like, yes. Tomorrow, it's a Saturday. Freedom. Finally cutting off that hangnail or piece of skin from your nails that had been getting caught in your hair or clothing. Ooh, this. Sometimes I'm just too lazy or like it'll be at night time and I'll be like, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. But I keep forgetting and it's always just there. And then the one day, I gotta do it. All right, so I do it. And it just feels amazing. Like, it feels good because when you don't do it, it just keeps getting caught and it rips a bit of your skin off and it hurts like heck. So once you do it, you don't have to worry about the pain anymore. It's amazing. Peeling off a new device screen protector. Oof. It's always the best feeling of peeling off any protector. It just feels so nice. This is stupid, but I will say it. When I was in middle school, my dad would drop me off at school about an hour earlier than anybody else. The janitors would be the only ones there. And there was an inside concession stand in the gym that had this floor to the ceiling heater. And I would sit there in front of the heater, eating my chocolate donuts and chocolate milk, feeling so warm and secure for about 45 minutes. That seems amazing. Chocolate donuts, chocolate milk, near a heater while it's cold. Whoa! I have taken pain pills before and that was the warm feeling I had back then. And now I can close my eyes and still go back to this insignificant time and get that same feeling. No one ever knew about this because I would go hang out with my friends when they got there. Whoa. So they were the only person who knew about it? Dang. Keeping the best feeling to themselves. <laughs> when you get more than five green lights in a row. Oof. That's the best feeling. But. But. It always worries me because whenever I'm driving and it's a green light, I would always feel like it's gonna be an orange light soon. It's just so much stress because I'm just like looking at the green light and I'm just like hoping for it to not turn orange because I just wanna peacefully drive, all right? Being insanely thirsty and chugging cool water. Oh, this. I feel like after I eat out and then I go back home and then I drink water, it's like the best feeling ever. Or like water just tastes so amazing. I'm like, wow, that tastes nice. I don't know why, how come? Like every single time if I go out and eat, water just tastes amazing when I get home. Why is that? Eating an epic meal when you're really hungry. Ooh. Whenever I know I'm gonna go to a buffet, I low key don't eat for a while <laughs> so I can eat a lot at the buffet, okay? Eat my amount worth, okay? That's what my parents told me. <laughs> like they would always be like, okay, leave your stomach empty. Okay, we're gonna go to a buffet. Make sure you eat the money back. When you parallel park your car in a tight spot with one turn and not stopping. Ooh. This is satisfying, but at the same time, I'm just so bad at parking. I, I can't. <laughs> like, I'll just be like, you know what? I won't park here. I'll just park down the street and walk in. When you're cutting wrapping paper and the scissors start gliding. Oof. That is the best feeling. But sometimes the scissors get caught or something and it just stops gliding. That's the unsatisfying feeling, you know. Maybe I'm just bad at gliding my scissors. Scratching the sock marks on your leg after a long day wearing it. Ooh. I feel like scratching is satisfying too. Like, if you have an itch and you scratch it and then it just feels so good. Why does it feel so good when you scratch yourself? I don't know. It just feels good. Somebody scratching your back also feels good too. Clocking out of work on Friday. Oof. Nice. I guess that's the same with school. Going home on a Friday. <laughs> when you get the shower temperature just right. I love my showers to be super duper 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 hot. It just feels good. But then my skin will be like really irritated because I just showered in really hot water. 
It felt really, really, really nice during that moment, okay? Blowing your nose just after a cold, the feeling of goop coming out and being able to breathe better. Oh, this when you're sick. Oh, feels good. Or like after eating something really, really spicy and your nose is running and you just blow it. Feels good, you know? Having a clean nose feels good. Finally remembering something, words, title of a song, a movie, etc. Sometimes we just get mind blanks for no reason, like we will know it if no one asks us. But if someone asks us something, we're just like, oh, wait, what is it called again? I forgot, I don't know, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll get back to you. Our brain's weird. That really good spine chilling part of your favorite song. Oh, there's always a part in a song that's your favorite. <laughs> Sometimes I just wish there was only that part of the song <laughs> because that's like my favorite part to listen to. When you hit a tennis ball just right and it goes boop. Oh, it has like that soft feeling to it. I don't know. It's like that blunt soft feeling. It's not like a sharp feeling. You know how sometimes your ball hits a racket, it doesn't feel good. But when it hits like the center, it feels like it's bouncy and soft. It just feels good, okay? I don't know how to explain it. It's hard to explain. But I'm sure you guys know. Waking up with a stiff neck back, then cracking it, and it actually feels better. Oh, I crack my neck and knuckles a lot. I mean, I stopped doing it a lot, but like I can still do it. And it just feels good, but I try not to do it because I think it's bad. I don't know. I always have a feeling that it's bad because people always tell you, or like, whenever I do it, people will just be like, oh, that's bad for you. Or like, ew. <laughs> when you feel a sneeze coming on and then it happens, oof. I don't know if I would say it's the best feeling, but like, it is pretty good. You know, that feeling is pretty good. It's like, you have that built in, what is it? You just have something built in inside of you and you just wanna push it on out and it feels good. When you've been busting for the piss for the hours and you finally get to go, oh yes, and you piss forever. <laughs> I've had times where I've held in my pee for so long and then I'll just be peeing in the toilet for so long. Like, okay, too much information, I'm sorry. Five second fart you've been holding in for an hour. Five second fart, that's long. Oh, holding in for an hour, dang. How do you still have a fart after holding it in for an hour? I feel like if I held in a fart, it just naturally goes away. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. A five second fart, that's long. Passing an exam you thought you were so sure to fail. Oof. Mm -hmm. I remember I passed an exam by two marks. <laughs> it was a good feeling, to be honest, because I thought I failed, but I actually passed. It's still pretty bad as a result, but a past, so I was happy, okay. Handing someone a gift you worked really hard on only to see their face light up and for them to realize that they are loved and appreciated by someone. Oh, that's, that's a pretty good feeling too. It's also a good feeling when you cook for someone and they get so happy that you cooked for them and when they eat it, they're like complimenting you and you just feel good, like, you know, <laughs> you just feel good. When you finally scratch the itch you can't reach inside your pants for adequate reasons. <laughs> That's pretty satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> finally being able to floss something that has been stuck in your teeth for a while. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like the most annoyingest thing when something's stuck in your teeth and you just can't reach it. Like you use your tongue but it just never goes away. And then finally, finally you go to the bathroom and you can Get it out! When the bit of water that was stuck in your ear finally comes out. Ugh. Ugh. I don't even want to think about this. Like, blocked ears are the worst. Seriously. I mean, as a kid, I went swimming a lot. Like, every day, a lot. Okay. And when I came back, my ears would always be blocked. It was so annoying. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know, it was like the most annoyingest thing ever. And like, I'll be looking for like all the home remedies to do to unblock your ears. And once your ears get unblocked, it has that pop sound. That's a satisfying feeling too, you know. So many satisfying feelings. When you finish writing that one essay and are able to close the 12 productivity tabs you had open on your computer. That is always the best because then you know you're done. You're done, all right? You don't have to look at these tabs anymore. You're done. Unless you forgot to reference and then you have to go back to all of the tops. <laughs> Getting into bed after you've changed the sheets. I love that feeling. It's just, it's just like a clean kind of feeling. But doing the sheets was annoying, okay? 
Doing the sheets is annoying, but having clean sheets is good. A really good stretch. Oof. You know, sometimes you sit down for too long and then you stand up and you stretch. Oh, feels good. Like, damn. Like, I needed that stretch. Taking your bra off as soon as you get home from work. Mm-hmm. This is a good feeling. Best feeling. It's like a feeling I look forward to when I'm out. Like, I'm just like, can't wait to just be free. That really big bowel movement that leaves you feeling completely evacuated. And then you feel like you can eat a lot again. <laughs> Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Tell me in the comments down below what are your best feelings. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.